But a parable is a story that has one right interpretation and a bunch of private interpretations. As many people as are in this room can hear one of these stories and come up with a, some type of significance for us. And that's all okay. And, and Jesus put out parables to give people a chance to listen. Give them a chance to, to come and ask him questions to get a better understanding. But the thing that Jesus is teaching is the one main interpretation that he explains to his disciples. And that's kind of why we gather and we read the parables in the modern age so that we can have a good, sharp understanding of what it is that he's trying to teach us. So this is another parable. We might call it the parable of amazing grace. Because here we see the tiniest of seeds, the beginning of this crop. It's not very impressive. There's not much in a tiny seed except for a very powerful process called germination and, and production where the, the DNA in the seed is able to become a crop. And in the case of the mustard seed, the tiny seed, which you wouldn't expect to do very much, grows huge. So big that the birds can come and rest under the shade of this bush. And that's kind of like the kingdom. And Jesus wants us to learn something about the tininess of the kingdom as it begins. And then because of the power of the Word of God and the Spirit of God, it grows huge and it encompasses everything. God is amazing and He has all the power to grow the church. We, though, sometimes have a hard time trusting that. We, we worry and we fret and we, we stew because we're concerned we don't have enough money to reach out or we don't have enough education to reach out or we don't have enough people to reach out. And therefore, our ministry is teeny-weeny and, and just not very impressive. But where's the power? Jesus said, upon this rock, referring to Peter's profession there, Matthew 16, I will build my church. 